Hi, welcome to Hard Reset Info channel. As you probably know, the video is about crypto wallets and yes, crypto hardware wallets are devices that let you store crypto securely without sacrificing their convenience. And there are lots of different devices that in theory offer the same capabilities, but it's not just ever so slightly that they differ. The differences are quite interesting and this is what I'll talk about in this video. Let's start off with what devices I have tested and there were a few Ledger wallets like Ledger Stacks, Ledger Flex, Ledger Nano X and Ledger Nano S Plus. Then Trezor, Trezor Safe 3, Safe 5, Modal T and Modal 1, a Tangem card and the Alipal Titan 2.0. Let's talk about Titan 2.0 first. A device that doesn't have Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, nor NFC. USB port doesn't support data transfer at all, and SD cards are used for software updates. Signing transaction is as simple as scanning a QR code using Wallet's built-in camera, then scanning a QR code with your phone, the one that's displayed on your wallet afterwards, I think that this device has zero vulnerability to outside access as long as no one knows your device password nor seed phrase, of course. Now Ledger wallets. Speaking of security, they are all exactly the same, meaning all these wallets shuffle order of pin input tiles, all have either USB or Bluetooth and USB access to connect it with your computer or mobile phone. I'll mention compatibility later and I think that they are pretty secure every action is always confirmed on device, all addresses are shown on device, never on your computer or mobile. But since they have access to wireless connection, USB and Bluetooth and USB and NFC optionally, it seems like they may be a bit more vulnerable to hackers that may alter your device's software but as long as no one besides you has it in person and no one guesses your pin, you should be fine. The Ledger app also always verifies if the connection is secure. Time for Trezor. Trezor actually is different between different devices. Model 1 doesn't feel too secure. If you restore it using a seed phrase, you enter the seed phrase on your computer only security protection is the fact that your Trezor displays the order of words in your phrase, which means if someone is reading your computer, they won't know the order of words in the seed phrase, but they still got the words. Also, typing pin is quite weird. Trezor shows order of pin tiles, but you click on the computer. Now, save three, a great one, Seed phrase is centered fully on device, has USB connection like any other Trezor. Then Safe 5 and Model T. Both are pretty similar. Both have a touch display and additional unusual security feature, SD card slot, that lets you use your SD card as a security key and Trezor won't work without the card inserted. By the way, the Safe 5 also has a security modem that makes it even more secure than the Model T because it's just more protected from the in-person access. If someone gets your device in person, then they won't be able to access it and it's more secure. All Trezors have USB connection and no Bluetooth. Also, all of them have a wipe code set, can have a wipe code set. A wipe code is a different code than your PIN and it's actually used to erase the whole device once entered. I think it may be helpful if you want to self-destruct it yourself quickly or if you're expecting someone else to enter that code as an attempt to unlock your device. Last but not least is Tangem. It's a weird device for me. It's just an NFC card, actually two or three cards, depending on how you buy it. There has to be more than one for backup and they may use a seed phrase if you really want it, but typically they don't generate seed phrases and if you lose all cards, you lose access to your money. Now compatibility and convenience. Ledger stacks, Flex and Nano X have Bluetooth, meaning they can be connected with any mobile device, Android or iPhone, or any computers, Windows, Mac or Linux. 
Nano S Plus as well as Nano S are only connected via USB, which means iPhone can access them for some reason, unfortunately. All Trezor models are connected only with USB, so only Android or PC, including macOS or Linux or Windows, but no iPhone. Helipal uses QR codes, so can be connected to Android or iPhone. I don't think there is a PC app the QR code has to be scanned using the mobile phone sometimes, I guess that's why. And Tangem only on mobile devices too, because they have to read NFC tags. Speaking of convenience, Trezor wins in my opinion. It's just the overall usage of the device, all the settings in the app are pretty easy to use, it's all simple and accessible, especially the Model T and Safe 5, which have a touch display that helps a lot with typing. They don't have a full QWERTY keyboard, but a T9 keyboard, it's still fine. Much better than a Trezor Safe 3 or Ledger Nano X or Nano S that have just two physical buttons. Imagine typing 24 words on that. The battery is where the convenience ends for Trezor. None of the Trezors come with batteries, it makes sense considering they only have USB connection, but using a wallet on the go is much easier with uh, ledgers, except Nano S and Nano S Plus which don't come with batteries. Elipal Titan or Tangem are also pretty good to use on the go. No cables, no Android phones, no computers. Of course, you can use an Android phone. I just mean if you have an iPhone, you can use it on the wallets I've just mentioned. And the ones with batteries or the Tangent cards with NFC. They don't have a battery. They don't need power at all, but they work with iPhones. So feel free to choose your own one that fits your needs. And now let's mention the currency support because treasures, I think, are the worst when it comes to currencies. I can name the whole list supported by the native Trezor Suit app. And they are Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum, Ethereum Classic, Ripple, Dash, Zcash, Digibyte, Namecoin, Dogecoin, Vericoin, Bitcoin Cash, Bitcoin Gold, Cardano, Solana, and Polygon. And supposedly it supports more using a third-party wallet, not Trezor Suit. But I guess who needs poop coins on a hardware wallet? The Moto One actually doesn't support all of the ones mentioned. It doesn't support XRP, Solana, nor Cardano. Then Ledger wallets, on the other hand, support lots of coins, but the coins require you to install an app on your ledger for each asset and each app takes between 1 to 200 kilobits. I guess it's kilobits, that's what the app says. And the internal storage is about one and a half megabits, not too much. Then Tangem and Alipal don't have any problems with coins at all. They just have support for most coins, but not all. There are so many of them that probably no one in the world knows how many coins there are. Now the price, the sad thing. Let's start with the cheapest and go all the way down to the priciest. And I'll also explain why I think the price is what it is. The Model 1 is priced at 50 USD. Cheap device, not too much functionality, kind of outdated. Very short list of currency supported, not even Solana or XRP, as I mentioned earlier. And then it's Tangem. A pack of two is priced at 55 USD. And it's a fair price, just two NFC cards with a well-designed app and helpful support help desk. Trezor Safe 3 is at 79 USD. A pretty base model has all it needs, not too fancy, sort of a benchmark for all the other ones. Then Ledger Nano S Plus is basically the same thing, but from Ledger and costs the same, 79 USD. Trezor Model T is priced at 129 USD. I understand where the price comes from, colorful touch display, easy to use, additional features like the microSD. Ledger Nano X is priced at 149 USD, has a battery, Bluetooth, everything you need, feels more sturdy and well-built than the cheaper Ledger Nano S. Plus, then Trezor Safe 5, 169 USD, maybe it's just more expensive because it's newer and also, as I've mentioned earlier, because of the security chip inside that protects it from outside access. Elipal Titan 2.0 is priced at 170 USD. 
has a battery, a big display, camera. It's a full-on device like a smartphone without calls, messages, internet. Unfortunately, you can't doom scroll TikTok for five hours straight. And it's one of my favorites, speaking of the wallet, not of TikTok. But I'll tell you all my favorites and stuff like that at the end, so bear with me. Now, Ledger Flex and Ledger Stacks are both the same thing. Ledger is 249 USDs and Stacks is 359. Stacks just has a bigger display and looks way better. Both have touch displays, which is really great, increases ease of use. And also it's an e-ink display, but they are mostly for Flex, I'd say. Even the name says that. And my favorites are Ledger Stacks because it looks cool and can be connected to an iPhone. Then at the top of the top is Trezor Model 5. It is a bit more expensive than Model T, but more secure, easy to use, pretty and very secure with different features. And I don't use some crazy coins. So I'm fine with a small selection in the native app. If I need it, I probably get a third party app. But I also need to mention the Elipo at the end. Titan 2.0 is truly the hardware wallet. No Bluetooth, no USB. Just pure hardware wallet, just QR codes. And that'll be about it. Let me know in the comments down below if you have any other questions uh, on the wallets. I'll happily answer them. Which one do you choose? And don't be afraid to like or subscribe too. See you.